That's right, Matt. From the Sabres heating things up to the Bills wrapping things up on another season, another 6-10 and 10 season. There's a lot to keep track of when it comes to Buffalo sports this morning. That's why we have our girl Lauren Brillin from News 4 Sports. You're just back from locker cleanout at One Bills Drive. It's kind of a symbolic day in, in football. What yeah. was it like? It was a little sad, actually. Yeah. Walking in there, all the lights were off, so it almost felt like they are setting the mood. Close the door. Last one, I'll close the door when you leave. But, but yeah, I think it, there is a sense of disappointment because they don't make the playoffs, but at the same time, the players actually felt good about their play this season overall. They said they did a lot of good things. They didn't get to where they wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the, the goal was to make the postseason. They didn't get there. But at the same time, they felt like they made a lot of progress. There was a lot of growth. And they, they feel like they're headed in the right direction. So you said that a common comment was it doesn't feel like a 6-10 and ten season. On paper, it is a 6-10 and ten season, but it didn't feel that way because of all the positivity. Yeah, Kyle Williams is the one who said that. It didn't feel like a 6-10 and ten season to him. It didn't feel like the seasons of the past. And he said the team did a lot of things well. They did a lot of things right. And just a couple plays have, would have gone differently, and it would have been a completely different season. You think the Kansas City game, if mm -hmm. that uh, pick six didn't happen, and the Atlanta uh, Atlanta game in Toronto, you know the two drop balls. Those are big plays that could have been a completely season-changing. You know, plays. Were the players dry yet from the game yesterday in uh, Foxborough? It was a soaker, super soaker. That was game. a very wet game. I think they're all pretty much recovered from the wetness out there. Anything to take away from the loss of the Patriots yesterday, Lauren? I mean, I think Garrett Blunt really just killed the Patriots. I mean, excuse me, killed the Bills mm -hmm. yesterday. I mean, he was just all over the field, 189 rushing yards. And I mean, he had two huge kickoff returns also, one for 83 yards, one for 62 yards. And that really just killed the Bills yesterday. He was the key player. Thad Lewis did not have necessarily a bad game. I mean, he threw one touchdown to TJ Graham. It was a nice play. But the Bills just couldn't couldn't stop LeGarrette Blunt, and I think that was the difference. Usually Tom Brady's the difference. It was LeGarrette Blunt yesterday. All right, so we're putting that behind us. We're looking to the offseason. What is the story this offseason? Last year we had a new regime come in, a new coach. They drafted a quarterback. What's going to be the story this year, do you think? Now it's what they can do from here. I mean, there are going to be some changes. You know, Scott Chandler's contract is mm -hmm. up. Arthur Motes' contract is up. There are a lot of guys who have been key players on this team that – may not be here next year. Stevie Johnson, we don't know what's going to happen with him. There's a lot of key players that we got to keep our eye out for and that next year is what we'll really see when we're, what we will see what this new regime can do. This year, they were just getting their rebuilding. Feet they still had a lot of players and a lot they were they inherited a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Now it's like okay, this they're starting to mold their own team. So next year we're really going to see what this new regime is all about. All right, another new regime that seems to be working out pretty well over at First Niagara Center, the Sabres. They're, they've won four games in a row at home. They're heating up. They're doing well. Well, they have Ryan Miller to thank for that. He's last so night, good. We'll say it again. He is so good. Well, last night, he sure was. It's probably best game of the season. 50 shots, 49 saves. Went to shootout. Steve Ott getting the only goal in a shootout to give the Sabres the 2-1 win. Sabres had dropped the last three straight to the Capitals, so they ended that streak. And that's as I right. said, they're winning they're on a four-game win streak at home, and that's huge for them because they struggled early this season at home and on the road. So they are making progress, but they didn't necessarily have a dominant performance yesterday. It was more so just Ryan Miller picking just up the slack. All of those and saves. The boom, Capitals boom, boom. dominated the play, but Ryan Miller was the star of the game. It will be definitely be fun to see how he does with the Olympics coming up into the new year. Yep, they're naming that just a couple days away, so it'll be very interesting to see. We're crossing our fingers here in Buffalo. All right, Lauren Burrell, you are on vacation this week, so you can go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're are done. Have a great week. We'll, of course, catch up with you um, coming into the new year. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, too. Thank